Welcome to our class on Pirkei Avot, the Wisdom of the Fathers. I am Rabbi David Levin, an independent rabbi working with Rabbi Richard Address. I was a student uh, of his while I was in rabbinical school. And just in case if you were wondering, no, Rabbi Address really isn't that old. Uh, I happened to enter the rabbinate late in life. But Rabbi Address is my teacher and a dear friend, and I'm honored to offer this teaching on a very interesting topic that I believe speaks to the baby boomers. Uh, this class is coordinated with the Jewish Sa Sacred Aging Project, working with the seekers of the boomer generation to help find life's answers to interesting questions that we confront at this stage of our life. So we enter into study of Pirkei Avot. And of course, the first questions that we have are, what is Pirkei Avot and why study it here? The wisdom or ethics of the fathers, as it's translated, uh, is a compendium of proverb-like sayings. It's brought together in a very special yet separate book that's found in the Talmud, uh, which has been a standalone uh, source of wisdom for hundreds of years. Uh, and anything that can withstand the test of time uh, has a pretty good indication that there's something of great value here. And indeed, that's true. Uh, Rabbi Joseph Telushkin calls Pirkei Avot the uh, Bartlett's quotations of Jewish knowledge. Um, Pirkei Avot is deceptively simple in presenting its proverbs and sayings of the great rabbis, but yet it's surprisingly deep in its wisdom. Pirkei Avot has been a keen insight into the human condition, and it's a way to navigate our hopes and our fears. Pirkei Avot gives us a chance to understand life's bigger issues and give meaning to them. Rabbi Address has suggested that the baby boomers are what he refers to as the club sandwich generation. In other words, we're caught between generations that have come before and come after our parents, our kids, uh, essentially, as we struggle to balance the needs of these two groups that we love and that we feel responsibility towards while we're trying to live our own lives and meeting our own needs, including our spouses and our own careers, and generally figuring out what our place is in the world, sort of asking that existential question, uh, why am I here? So what we're trying to do is make sense and make it have meaning. We will explore Pirkei Avot's wisdom by using one of the more famous quotes to come from it. It's known by, uh, as coming from Rabbi Hillel, one of the greatest of rabbis. And Rabbi Hillel, as most are already familiar, said, If I am not for myself, who will be for me? If I am for myself alone, what am I? If not now, when? These three questions will be our springboard to dive into Pirkei Avot. Hillel's saying seems to recognize that tensions exist <clears throat> between your responsibilities to others and your responsibility to yourself, as well as the need to take action now rather than put it off to some later date. This teaching is going to be comprised of a series of videos of approximately five minutes in duration each one. So, we will be done before you get bored, or the dog needs to go out, or the doctor's appointment comes up, or whatever might distract you from our time together, including maybe even the early bird special, but maybe I'm pushing that a little bit. So please join me in this foray into Pirkei Avot for the baby boomer generation. The aphorisms, the proverbs, and the sayings of Pirkei Avot are succinct, but surprisingly deep spiritual, edifying, and practical, kind of like the good fortune cookie that comes out of the Chinese restaurant. So for those of us of the club sandwich generation, what better way to enjoy a meal than with a fun dessert? Bate avant.